Okay, I am trying something new today. I'm actually going live on Spreaker, recording live, and we're going to see how that goes. I don't know if anybody will listen, or I've, I've never done this before, so we're just trying this out, trying something new, seeing how things go. I wanted to talk today about when inspiration strikes. I get this problem a lot. I'll be laying in bed or driving down the road or out walking through the woods and I have an idea pop into my head like, wow, I should go do that. I, this is a thing that I need to write down or a podcast that I need to record about this topic. And I'll play out a, uh, I'll play out a whole conversation in my head of what that podcast might look like or what the article would say or if I would have a conversation with somebody about a certain topic, the things that I would say. And inspiration is really strong in that moment. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this thing. And I don't do it. I'm like, Wednesday is the day or Friday is the day that that happens. And I don't act on the inspiration in the moment. You know what happens? Nothing. Because when the time gets here for me to act on that inspiration or to record that podcast or do the video, I don't remember what the inspiration was about. I fail to bring up the words. I can think about the thing, the inspiration that struck me. I can think about it for two days. But when the time comes to push record on the podcast or the video or to type out the article or whatever that thing may be, it's gone like a fart in the wind. Just gone. Do you struggle with that as well? Maybe for you creative types out there, you don't have that problem. It's always there on the tip of your tongue. I struggle badly with that. I have a great inspiration and I don't act on it now. So I'm trying to resolve, and I suggest you do this too, when inspiration strikes in that moment, either write it down, take some notes on a pen, on a piece of paper, write it down with a pen or a pencil, or use a note keeping app on your phone. Both of those will work. The physically writing it down is the most effective way to burn that into your memory, to really keep at the forefront of your mind what it is that inspired you or the thing that you wanted to talk about or do a video on or to share with other people. I get that so many times, especially when I'm laying in bed. That is the worst, and it's so hard to go do it, to go act on that inspiration. When I'm laying in bed, I'm trying to sleep, and the thoughts are just running through my head like a thousand miles an hour, wheels turning. And I'm having this massive epiphany of something that I want to share. And I go through it in my head and I'm like, okay, I'll remember this. I'll remember this. I'll remember this. This is not going to get away from me this time. And I wake up the next morning and I cannot, for the life of me, remember what it was that struck me the night before. Maybe you don't struggle with that. But I guarantee you that there are those of you out there who do have that. If you enjoy creating content or whatever it is that you enjoy doing that, ha that uses your creative juices, there are times when you are struck with inspiration and don't act on it, and then the moment's gone. There's a theory out there that when an idea is ready it will present itself to somebody. And if that person who the idea presented itself to doesn't act on it, then the idea moves on to somebody else. Now, I don't necessarily hold with that, but it's a really interesting thought that ideas come and go. And you have to act on it in that moment in order for it to stay with you, in order for it to stay valid and current so I just want to leave that with you today 
When inspiration strikes, act on it. In that moment, don't wait. That's my resolution for from now moving forward. When I am inspired by something, when the thought strikes me, I need to strike, to grab a hold of it. At the least, I need to write it down so that I remember what it is. So I can come back to it and continue on with that thought and that inspiration. Let me know how that works for you. If you struggle with that, send me an email to coach at kennethesh.com. I'd love to hear how you deal with it when that happens for you. Again, that's coach at kennethesh.com. K-E-N-N-E-T-H-E-A-S-H.com. And as always, stay focused on your mission, remain steadfast in your pursuit of excellence, and always do the right thing.